number seven. So this here's number six, I believe. And again, I don't have a problem here, but I think that what the question is trying to ask based off the solution here is what is the square root of 256? Square root of 256. And again, we can either use the long division uh, as given here, or we can use a simplified radical form. In this case, I'm going to use a simplified radical form. So 256 here. And again, uh, again, what I can do is I can take, take the prime factors out, right? So the first prime factor I would take out here would be, I would probably take out a two here. Yes, two. So this would be square root of two multiplied by, and then I would get uh, whatever, one, 256 divided by two here. In this case, 256 divided by two is 128. I can do this again. 128 divided by two would be 64. And basically I can stop here, right? Because I know that the square root of 64 here is indeed a perfect square. And this guy here, is I know that eight squared here is 64, so therefore the square root of 64 would equal simply just eight, right? So therefore, I'm gonna have root two times root two times eight here. I can simplify the root twos to root two times root two is root four times eight. And I know that square root of four here is simply just two, right? So two times eight here, which equals 16. And this here is my answer for this problem here. So the square root of 256 would equal 16. And as you can see, this solution is correct, right? They have 16 here as well. Again, they did the long division method, so they took out 256. They took out the two, they took out the two, and basically they took it all the way down to one. So a much longer solution, but you can evade this if you know that the eight squared here equals 64. So this here saves you a lot of work. Because the eight here, you could, you could have rewritten this uh, as two squared, right? This guy here, as a side note, two here equals two cubed, right? So you can say that you had um, uh, you had two cubed times, uh, times, times one, times two, times, uh, times two to the power of one here, times two to the power of one, which is then eight times two here, which equals 16. So this would give you the same answer as well, but just a little side note here. So the solution here is correct. Again, you can add the plus or minus if you really want to. In this case, it's, um, it's technically more correct if you put the plus or minus, but I'm not sure for the scope of this course you cared about negative numbers as well. So solution here is correct. Good analysis.